Generation Gang. Let's pop, let's pop, let's pop. You already know it's your girl, D-Movie, the Nova, back with another one. Bonjour, bon oui, bonsoir. My kings, my queens, my loves, my babies. What's poppin', y'all? If you are new to the channel, if you are new to the channel, go ahead and tap those buttons you need to be tapping because, yes, it's a vibe, okay? <laughs> she smokes a little bit. She cusses a little bit. I might be drinking tea. I might get a little, a little bit sometimes. You hear me? But, however, she don't miss. So, you know, come kick it with your girl. Come kick it with your auntie, cousin, big sis, little sis, however you view your girl. All right. So, I'm going to start with the prayer. And I'm going to tap into these messages because I kind of got like a little mouthful for you guys. Okay. God grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the different young. So I said, God grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the different young. Ashe, 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 yeah. All right. Anybody sending any evil eyes towards me and my collector, please return that shit back to sender with intentions of knowledge so that they can stop doing that shit. I say, I say, I say, I say, anybody sending any evil eye or low vibrational energy towards me and my collector, please return that shit back to sender with a tenth of knowledge so that they can stop doing that shit. I say, I say, I say, yeah. Yo, that wind just blew so hard. They knocking whatever that is about the water. It's just some onion to y'all. I'm just doing like some detox stuff real quick. You feel me? Getting ready for the winter. Tap into this um, fasting on all levels. You know what I'm saying? But I was tired of fasting for the internet. I had to come back. <laughs> so like, it's enough fasting with that. I miss my folks. All right. So I've been looking into like a lot of this about um, men not really liking women and they're stringing them along and stuff like that. I've been watching like a, little, a lot of podcasts about that type of stuff. And I really wanted to do um, what your person in prison wants to say, whether they are in a physical prison, a mental, or like a mental prison. Okay. Or some type of separation with you, okay? They are looking at it like an imprisonment. Y'all already know if you've been rocking with the channel for a while, you already know the vibes, all right? Y'all already know the vibes. But the song I was getting, y'all, was Lotto, okay? Brokey, she said, um... She said, when a real one holds you down, baby, you supposed to drive. She was like, <laughs> she was like, you ain't never fuck with no real bitch. I turned you out. Okay. You won't catch me in no shark boots. I burnt them out. Bitches got away till their birthday to go out of town. Bro, hey, I talk a lot of shit. <laughs> he said, he asked me who I think I was. I said, not your bitch, brokey. Hey, bitch, not your hoe. <laughs> he said he thought he had one up on me the whole time. The score um three to oh, brokey. Hey, <laughs> the whole time the score was three to oh. They can't have one up on you, baby. <coughs> or as soon as this person think that they was about to do something to you, like. Karma hit that ass like that. Imprisonment hit that ass. That's what I'm hearing. Enough is enough. It's a ramp. How you gonna act like that? How you gonna act like that? Hey, I thought the love was good. That song came out of my other room too. I don't know why that song has been channeling a lot lately. But yeah, let's get into it. Who is this person that feels like they are in prison? Who is this actual person who feels like they are a parent? Left my panties at his mansion like a souvenir. Ooh, the empress in reverse. So this could be a karmic that feel like they are um, in prison, or this could be the actual empress that feel like they are in prison. Empress in reverse. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune in reverse. 
That came out in another one of my reads too. I think in that karmic read and because it was like you're not feeling like yourself, like somebody trying to knock you off of your square. I think it was like that divine feminine. Um, if if you ask me, do I love you? Yes, I think it was in that one. Because yeah, right after that, I got the um nine of pentacles and king of cups in reverse. Like, so somebody can feel like they failed you by making you feel like this. So they like both y'all can feel in prison at this fucking point. Yeah, because I got the strength card in reverse. You they rock, but they don't have you no more. Or the situation ain't what it is no more because this person had to go away or you went away or however. Okay. Yeah, Empress in reverse with the Fortune in reverse, Nine of Pentacles in the upright, King of Cups in reverse, Strength card in reverse. Yeah. You just me and rock. But you had to walk away because you don't feel like yourself to get back in your bag. Hopped out my feelings and I hopped in a bag. Hopped out my feelings and I hopped in a bag type energy. Okay, talk that shit. What is this person in prison want to stay? Okay, what does this feminine in prison want to say? So I feel like this is a woman's side and a masculine side. Feminine side and a masculine side. Okay. Put it on the floor, Sunday service. 20 black suburbans, we pull up like Sunday service. I just want a one on one. Don't know why she's so nervous. Okay, you just wanted a one on one with this person. You just wanted a real genuine thing from this person. <clears throat> I'm going to give money, yes, nigga. I ain't chasing nothing unless it's money or liquor. Hey. She was like, that ass going both ways. Now, that's double dribble. Okay, this video just came on. Um, he trying to get into the party. He like, he paid for the party. Like, so your person could have been out here <clears throat> paying. Um, They could have been part of like some type of trafficking or something. Energy vampire or something. It has something to do with partying and being out in the open. They could have been using you as like a trophy wife or something like that. Trophy girlfriend. Like using you as an object, not a person. Okay? Y'all already know the vibes on that type of shit. You like, man, fuck all this shit. I'm about to get out my feelings and hop in a motherfucking bag. Like, I'm not about to be no fucking trinket out here. And man, stop doing that shit. Like, that shit is crazy. But like, a woman gonna treat you like how you come off. So, like, whatever dumbass games you play, a woman's going to play them dumb games back. Like, that's why they say you play dumb games win stupid prizes. Like, what do you, like, what? <laughs> what does this woman imprisonment wants to say? Or this person could be sad because you had to go to prison or something. What does this person, what does this woman in prison have to say, want to say? What does this woman in prison have to say? It's a fight. She's tired of fighting. Sirens went off outside. Okay, so like I said, this could be like a domestic thing. This man could be jealous because you're beautiful. You're the empress. So he's trying to knock you off your square. So this person's constantly causing fights, causing delays for you. Try to like cause delays on your money. Try to fuck up shit with your other suitors. Okay, try to like weaken you mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually type shit. Ooh. That was a mouthful. That was a mouthful. What exactly were they doing to these Ooh. Yeah. They was making you go into your head, but motherfucker think they got one up on you the whole time. It's three to O. Oh. They trying to make you be in your head about the decisions you was making. And them playing these dumbass games and put them into a fucking prison. Yeah. The burdens they were trying to give you, they got them burdens now. This King of Cup has them burdens now. This could be something that they could have got 10 years in prison. This could have been going on for 10 years. You could have known this person for 10 years. Um, something specific about the number 10. Here, 10 to 12, 10 to 12, 10 to 12. Because when you looking at the traditional um, playing cards, this would be 
the 10, and you had like the jack will be the pages. 11, queen, king, 12. Ace high, 13. Okay, so I'm here 10, 12. Yeah, this, this man is something about 10 years. He might get 10 years of karma. This, like I said, it's been on for 10 years. He been doing shit like this for 10 years, even if you haven't known this person or something, something crazy. Yeah, nine of wands. <laughs> Somebody got to look over their shoulder for the decisions they done made. They done bumped their head too many times with the same motherfucking lesson. These hoes can't fuck with me. These hoes can't fuck with me. These can't fuck with me. Okay, boss bitch, and I'm up for the year. You stable, boss bitch, and you up really. <laughs> they come the fuck if you if you let them fuck what the fuck they mean, huh? Mama, you're pretty with no makeup. You ain't gotta make shit up. You ain't gotta put on no facade. You are you walk it like you talk it cause you can back it up. These people put themselves into a prison man or find themselves into a real prison trying to hate on you and do spiteful shit to you. Period. Period. People, places, and things. It don't matter. It's definitely a masculine energy that done did this because it done came out on the cards. The man carrying the birds, the man hiding with his head, the king of cups in reverse, the strength card in reverse. This woman is on top regardless. These hoes can't fuck with her. These hoes can't fuck with her. Hey. I go live right now without a fucking filter. <laughs> I'm known to put that shit on. It's known to kill him. Yeah, Ace of, um, where the fuck that shit just got? I just seen it. It was the Ace of Pentacles. I literally just seen it. If it come back out, it come back out. Ace of Cups. Yeah, literally just see. It was on top. I don't know where the fuck you went. It's somewhere up in here. But, uh, yeah. I literally just seen it. Somebody getting all their coin back. Period. If somebody was wrongfully put into prison, I'm hearing y'all gonna get y'all, um, shit back too because I just seen something online. They was talking about this man did 14 years because a lady, um, wrongfully convicted him of S.A. And, um, but he did 14 years. Like, that's crazy. And, like, she's not getting penalized for that at all. And, of course, he was, and she was, but heck. Who knows? I feel like that shit wrong as hell. Like, some should be done. And, but like, when people lying about who they kid's father and shit is, I feel like these motherfuckers should have to take blood tests right then and there. Like, period. Like, that's enough for all the shit. But, but at the end of the day, everything is a cycle to keep certain money flow and certain generational curses going and the bullshit going. So it's like, they'd rather screw it than nail it. <laughs> they'd rather screw it than hit it on the head and just nail it. You feel me? No balls. <laughs> hey, let's get, get your bands up. If you ain't got no money. I'm going to hit your mans up. Cold ass hockey bitch. Third in the summertime. He going to keep the rent paid because he know what's fine. Somebody could have went to jail in the winter so in the summer just females becoming single or something like that yeah he gonna keep the bills paid because he know what bitch fine jc what you really do i be at home playing fish by swimming pool hi priest is jt what you really do <laughs> JT, what you really do? If you know, you know. Stop fucking playing with me. 1202 September 27th. 
That regime dropped every time I show up. Yeah. <laughs> Shout Murray down for some furry slides. Look him in his eyes and tell him dirty lies. Caught me shit down 30 times. His eyes come on. Say I'm hella paid. And I ain't got to do a motherfucking thing. I ain't got to do a motherfucking thing, bitch. Somebody can still be taking care of somebody from prison. Is what I'm hearing as well. Like, just because they went to prison or is in this imprisonment don't mean that they're going to stop taking care of you or, like, not willing to take care of you. All it is is a phone call, a letter away, and it's done. Like, just say the word. I'm here. Whenever you call me, I'll be there. Whenever you need me, I'll be there. I'll be around. Yeah. But this giving them the high priestess. Like all time. Three three to three to oh. What is this? How how does this masculine feel in this imprisonment? He feel like he want to give you everything. Yeah, I'll be there. Ace of Cups again. It came out. Like, this person feels so burnt and tired of looking over their shoulder. They're like, here, you can just have it all. Like, they not trying to, like, get this shit to nobody else. They taking the time to be like, what is temperance in reverse? We already know on the card, it's gluttony and shit like that. But, like, what is it in the tarot cords? Let's see. Strength. Yeah, strength and reverse. The strength card reverse suggests that you are in a position where you have little power effect or affect behavior. No amount of modeling, persuasion, or leadership will affect. The out of control, yeah, untamed force that is set loose. Subtitles are overlooked and inducements which have served as a past reward order may meet with scorn. Yeah, you may have to lay low and do what you can do to preserve yourself and let this upside down time blow too. Yeah, this person has to go lay low. They got to go do that time. Yeah, big mama on. What do I get for my birthday? What do I get for my birthday? Temperance in reverse. The temperance card reverse is that you are in danger of giving up on yourself. Something is making you feel apathetic and ignore what you deeply want and need. You may be morbidly overemphasize the chaos and disruption that would come with change and growth rather than focusing on the regeneration and liberation that could be yours. Try to carve out a day which you do activities that make you happy. Eat well and get some rest. Then take another look at your life. If you do not gain better perspective, seek help. Yeah, so this person might be looking out for letters from you. They might be trying to go like work little jobs and do arts and crafts or to pass their time while they're in prison or something like that. Whether this is drawing art, um, helping somebody else read or write their letters, um, doing some type of cleaning service, something. Yeah, confirmation. This is um, studying something they want to do when they get out. However, like to make this better or to make a um, men's with you, even though they're trying to make you from in there or even if they're out, they probably just laying low, really being like, it's probably come off like a silent treatment, but it's not really silent treatment. Like this person has their tail between their legs. And you're probably looking at it like, okay, like, you're just going to do more coward ass shit. But it's like, they don't know what else to do. They just know they want to give you this stability. And now you're going to go find it by yourself. They want to be the one to do it. Whether it's from a genuine place or a narcissistic place. 
take out resume. Y'all know who y'all deal with. <laughs> Spirit's gonna smoke to that, okay? We're gonna smoke to that. Big mama, wet when he call me big mama, hey. Big mama, big mama. Cyrus going off outside. I be wet when he call me big mama. Okay. What does this Empress in Reverse want to say? Speaking down your blind, taking niggas from their frauds. Who is this? What's this girl name again? Because I'm a real pee bitch. Yeah. Milano, beating down your block. <laughs> he was like, I taste like sugar, but ain't a dead thing, sweet bitch. <laughs> he was like, I'm breaking niggas on a daily basis. <laughs> okay. Yeah, whoever this is, like, whoever y'all in, y'all like niggas with that money on. Okay. Whether well, it's street money, legit money, whatever. Like, whoever this is, y'all like that. And I don't blame y'all. Like, you a hot girl like me. You see no kids. Like, you done spent pouring into being naive and not knowing your worth and shit like that. You have every right to be, like, you're not putting up with shit. Because, like, you can do everything for yourself. And, like, I had a breakdown to somebody the other day. Like, most of the shit that motherfucker really be wanting y'all to do. And some people do have, like, you motherfucker won't do it. But they try to breadcrumb you and do the stupid shit. So, it'd be like, get the fuck out of my face anyways. Like, why should I do, like, for what? Make it make sense. I just get it myself first. I'm not for me to have it. But you're not about to be all over here sucking up on my energy. Having me feel all about my motherfucking self. Shit. Arguing and fighting over nothing. That's not going to change. So out of here. Fuck I look like. What does this empress want to say? Besides, she pimping on a daily basis. <laughs> Duh. Sex magic. Somebody might have been doing sex magic on you. Where the fuck did it just go? I just seen it. Literally, yeah. Sex magic. Somebody could have been doing sex magic on you thinking that was going to work. No. Yeah, somebody was trying to siphon your energy through the sex magic. And yeah, now this person's in prison. They really can't siphon no energy or have to lay low away from you. They can't siphon that energy. They probably want it so bad. They can't. And some people are probably looking at it too like, well, if your energy is like that, why can't you manifest it for yourself? When two energies come together, you got to think about everybody's DNA is different. Everybody's good at certain things in life that another person is not. That's why they say it's not what you know, it's who you know. But I feel like it's a little bit of both. Because if you understand that, then you will understand when your energy meets another person's energy, it manifests its other shit. It's like in a game when you got to switch the player that you're using and use another player for that challenge. Other people have other powers that you might not hold or possess, but they need your energy to fuel that. And vice versa, if that's making sense. What else does this empress want to say? <laughs> Lost up. <laughs> These niggas act like bitches, and bitches act like niggas. <laughs> Lost up. <laughs> Uh, I named him Junior because his daddy acting like a fruit loop. <laughs> These niggas act like bitches and bitches act like niggas. Okay, what else does this Empress in Reverse want to say about this situation? She's been trying to bite her tongue about this. Ooh, child, let's see. Fast food, hot and ready. Yeah, she like. Nigga, your diet ain't even up to par. Like, you don't even know how to take care of me. You don't even know what to feed me. Like, ew. Ew. Or, like, this Amber, since her energy being off, it's like she's been indulging in stuff that she probably really don't even eat like that. 
whole diet, hygiene, everything is just off. Like, not even playing stuff. Like, it's just like, no. So, no, we got to reset, reboot, reprogram, like I said in the other one. And in reverse, gratitude is key. Fortunate, count every blessing. Yeah, this person is like, unfortunately, I had to go through this. But fortunately, it helped me understand some shit about myself. Yeah, count every blessing. Like, some blessings be in disguise. Some blessings be harder than others. So it's like, you really can't regret going through it, but it's like, damn. Thank you, motherfucker. But uh, hell no, you gotta go. <laughs> Thank you for letting me realize, but baby, you got to go, baby. Okay? And I'm sorry I keep saying the N-word, y'all, but you gonna work on me. But that ninja got stuck out. What does this man in prison want to say? What does this masculine energy in prison want to say? Stop it. Yeah, like I keep saying, this man wants to spend it all on you. He like, while I'm in here, I'm about to be sending money and stuff. I got you. And when I get out, I'm taking you on the shopping spree. I got you. <laughs> like somebody think being materialistic fixes everything. It's like if you're still going to do the same crazy ass shit and be misogynistic and womanizing and not faithful, not loyal, untrustworthy, like None of these gifts mean anything. And then it's like you're putting more black magic and curses out there. Like, that's why they say you can't accept everything from everybody. You have to be able to turn things down from people. Because just because it might seem like a nice gesture doesn't mean the intent behind it is nice. Mm. In the reverse, receiving grants, loans, credit, etc. Yeah, this motherfucker ain't receiving shit right now. He like, damn, I can't even get a commissary about your ass, but I don't even, like, I don't expect you to, and I'm trying to send you some shit too, but if this motherfucker was out on some narcissist shit, the gaslight would be like, motherfucker try to give you something and turn around and get it back from you, and then, like, I like, just keep exchanging the money back and forth, like, on some weird shit. Horns outside hunking. But right now, this person, like, damn, outside, out of mind, ain't nobody fucked with me right now. This person, like I said, this person could have fucked over more than just you. That's why they're not receiving shit right now. And the um reverse, holidays and birthdays, 148. Money-oriented or family-oriented, yeah. Like I said, ain't nobody really fucking with them. Even on the holidays and birthdays, still, like, they don't get no car, no nothing. Motherfuckers ain't answering the phone, nothing. Not nobody checking on them, nothing. And, um, Hancho, your friend, you know I don't like your friends. He was like, why you out with them? He was like, we could be out in Paris. I'm the man and she know it. <laughs> He said, girl, you could be with me while I'm trying to make these plans. You flexing with your men, don't go back. Okay, like, yeah, like I said, like, even how this person got you wasn't even under the right terms. Like, it was a lot of fluke shit with that. That's what I'm saying. You looking at this person like untrustworthy. If this situation were a movie, what would it be related to? If this situation were a movie, what would it be related to? What would the lesson be related to? If this situation was a movie, what would the lesson be related to? Jack and the Beanstalk. Jack and the Beanstalk. So, yes, yeah, somebody thought they was just big and bad. Somebody thought they was big and bad. Horns going off outside. Somebody thought they was big and bad. And they had to get knocked down to size is what I'm hearing. By little Bo Peep. Like this little ass woman had to come knock this big Jack in the Beanstalk down. But somebody, oh, excuse me, spiritual verb, somebody is mesmerized by you. You're like a siren. They look at you like the little mermaid. Whether you on the physical plane or the spiritual plane, land and water, 
You 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 got this shit in the bag. You don't even need no voice. Because you the high priestess. Like I said, this person like she was the siren. Oh, Lord have mercy. When this person gets out, what are some of the events that will be taking place? When this person get out, what will some of these events be taking place? Like, they obviously want you to be away from your fucking friends when they get out, clearly. They don't like them. <laughs> Charity. 175. So, yeah, the second capital sin in reverse, greed, um, covetousness. Yeah, this person learned their lesson with being greedy. This person learned their lesson with being greedy. They don't want to be greedy no more. They don't want to be greedy no more. They learned their lesson with being greedy. You don't. They somebody's humble. What would be some of the events taking place once this person is out of prison? Humility. One seventy four. Yeah. All them conversations that this person is not having while they're hiding or locked up. When this person comes back to the streets or back to reality. Um, I'm hearing back to life, back to reality, back to life. Okay, yeah. However do you want it, however. When this person comes back to life, back to reality, they're going to have to answer these questions. They're going to have to walk that walk of shame. They're going to have to set an example to prove themselves. They're going to have to go through that humility. What are some of the events that will be popping off when this person is out of prison? Wife, husband, my loyalty is to you. I belong to you. I belong. I give all my love to you. All my love to you, baby. Uh, 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 uh. 187. 178 safety pit. It's crazy um, how a small thing can be so secure. It's crazy how your little itty bitty has knocked this person down to size and you're so secure in who you are and all of that. This person is mesmerized by you. Like I said, they're looking at you like a little mermaid. Ride 49, vultures. Vultures part two. You want to tell somebody, visit them, how you let me fuck. <laughs> he was like, um, don't put nobody in my business. He said, I'll get that Glock involved. Okay, like, stop playing. Real stepper. <laughs> Six, nine, he a creature. <laughs> Trying to dodge a cake. Hey, what the fuck? that Hey. <laughs> yeah, now nah, I be turned up. But no, it's the remix. Somebody about to remix something. Like somebody switching the fucking game up. Somebody switching. I'm here throwing a wrench in the game. Somebody throwing a wrench in the game. Okay, we already know what's going on when I'm gonna get out. What is a person? What does this empress need to be working on while this man is in prison? What does this feminine energy need to be working on while this man is in prison? Herbalist. Like I said, I'm drinking this onion tea, detox, to regroup, regroup, reprogram. Go look at the video. I just posted it the other day. Y'all, get into your natural state of health for your body. You need to cleanse, you need to regroup, repro Like, as this man is in prison, he is... He's cleansing. He's detoxing. Like, even though they feed you a lot of bullshit in there, it's kind of dirty in the water and all that. But at the same time, you just know the men that be locked up for a long time and get out and they look so super young because they, certain shit they're not doing. Like, yeah, it's possible to be able to get a hold of certain things in there, but the ones who really taking this shit serious and looking at they blessing in disguise in a hard, rough time is going gonna, is gonna to take the steps that they need to take. They're not going to be in that bitch bullshit. Okay, what else does this feminine energy need to be working on while this man is in 
Um, chamomile. This is about relaxing. I mean, I can have high anxiety, high, um, like, panic, like, um, PSTD type of things, ADHD type of shit, like chamomile, lavender, things like that will calm you down. Whether you put this in a bath, a tea, get the actual flower, um, you can burn it like how I'm burning this rose, however you need to get your chamomile in your life, all right? What does this masculine energy need to be working on while he is in prison? Why does this masculine energy need to be working on why he is in prison? And if you have stayed this long in the reading, thank you, thank you, thank you for tapping in with your girl, the UB Nova. All right. What does this masculine need to be working on why he is in prison? In the reverse, key to life is learn something new every day and new about yourself every week. Okay, so this man is struggling with learning about himself, but he is being forced to learn about himself. Okay, so that is probably why he has so many years, so many months or weeks, however long this judgment is upon him. God need to put that judgment on him because that's how long it's going to take for him to get that lesson and focus on it. All right. P-wise in the reverse. T-wise in the reverse. Mental paralysis, overthinking, no sacrifices being made, stagnant. Yeah, like I said, this man is going to be struggling with finding himself in there, but it's going to have to be done. All that blocking mental shit out, no, ain't going to be no more mental paralysis. And then now you in there over fucking thinking because you never took the time to fucking think about shit while you was out here. You just running them up. Okay. Ain't nobody to sacrifice no more. Ain't nobody to throw under the bus no more. You have to take that accountability. Ain't no more stagnation. You be stagnant there, you, you're not going to grow. You're just going to become a bug in that bitch. So, motherfucker, like, I ain't going to go no bug in this bitch. I got to work on something. So, again, this person being forced to work on something. And marshmallow rule, okay? So, this person might need to work on some type of detoxing, too, Why he's in there. Need to be working with some type of marshmallow root. Or an alternative to that. Gorilla, all there. Okay, somebody might want you to come visit them. When you come visit them, they might be like, damn, what are you doing? You looking good. Your hair looks good. Your skin looks good. Your outfit is cute. Okay, you're going to tell them it's all there. It's been all there. Like, okay, you ain't seen me when you was out. Now, all of a sudden, you've been in here and ain't seen no women. And I want to try to give compliments and shit now. Nah, player. Nah, nah, player. <laughs> But y'all already know what it is. It's the new, it's the Nova, okay? With the Melanation in game, Melanation pie, Melanin take it over, period. Okay, all day, every day. Glassies, 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 and ciao. Time on the clock, 12.26, again, Friday, September 27th. Ciao. <laughs>